Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku. Bringing you a La Palma update. Saturday, October 30th at around 11 a.m. Mountain Time, 2021. As we wait for the G3 geomagnetic storm to hit, a lot of people are watching La Palma, and there is definitely activity change there. Huge amounts of cinders and ash are now being generated by La Palma. Take a look. And also we have a red hot lava bomb careening down the volcanic slope yesterday. Looks like it came straight from hell. The three foot wide chunk of molten rock was about 1650 degrees Fahrenheit when it sped away from Cumbre, the Aja volcano in La Palma. And volcanologists were there on site. You can watch the video above there to actually get that bomb. There it is, and get some samples of it. So, amazing science going on at La Palma as tourists flock to the island. Can you believe that? So here is the uh, most current update. About seven hours ago, there was a five magnitude earthquake. And since then, seismicity is calming quite a bit. We'll get to that. But about seven hours ago, the island was shaken by a magnitude 5.1, downgraded to five magnitude at 39 kilometers depth beneath the center of the Cumbre Vieja volcano. It's the strongest tremor so far since the start of the seismic crisis and the volcanic eruption in September. While volcanic tremor is very high and a bright glow from the eruption site indicates that activity is also elevated, things have changed. There's the glow. And here, if we look at the earthquakes in the last 24 hours, things have dropped off from over 200 quakes per 24 hour period and now we have the largest quake in the last 24 hours, the 5 magnitude, with one 4.1 magnitude, and a total of 125 quakes that can be felt above 2 magnitude. So that is the current status of what's going on there. And if we look at the 3D graph through time, you can see a breakdown of that seismic activity. In the last three hours, almost nothing going on seismically. And that big boomer is off the chart down here about seven hours ago, right before the seismic activity started to, well, quiet down, which is good news for those on La Palma. Bad news that this phase of eruption here on Cumbre Vieja has, is filled with tons of ash and soot, and the weather is not cooperating. It's actually probably blowing that material onto Los Llanos, uh, the town just to the north. And so that is bad news for there because volcanic ash can build up on the roofs there and collapse structures. So that could be the next thing that we're waiting for here is collapsed buildings. Definitely bad air quality and things happening to the local residents today. Probably the worst day since the eruption began. So we're going to keep a close eye on this volcano. And our prayers and thoughts go out to the people on La Palma. This is obviously going to be a very bad day with this amount of ash raining down on the town. People are probably hiding inside. But the good news is that seismicity is reducing. This could be, well, let's just wait and watch. The last eruption back in the 40s in 1949 lasted just eight days longer than the current length of this eruption. So based on historical information, there's a possibility that this eruption could be coming to an end, albeit a very sooty, an ashy end. That's boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance, especially if you're on La Palma. Our hearts and our prayers go out to the people there that are suffering today. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Join us tonight for a full analysis of what's going on with space weather over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Be safe, we love you.